Okay, so the overwhelming majority of cases are mediated via Zoom these days. There's a few weirdos out there who are insisting on having live in-person mediations, which is weird because they don't even work as well as Zoom mediations. In my office as a mediator and as an attorney, I only do Zoom mediations. The way that I handle them and how most mediators handle them is everybody's in the same room for about five minutes in the beginning for us to just talk about the ground rules, right? Like confidentiality, how today's going to work, how to get in touch with me if you need me, what to happen, what happens if there's some sort of technical failure or something like that. After I do my little opening and get everybody on the same page, I split them up into two different rooms. I typically start with the petitioner or the person who has filed the petition or the motion and is looking for something to happen. Sometimes that doesn't make sense. I'll usually chat with the lawyers about it if they're there and start in the other room if I need to. I'm going to then bounce back and forth between the two rooms, delivering messages, making points, brainstorming ideas, going back and forth until I feel like we have reached an agreement. We've gone through all of the issues. And then if we're able to get that done, then we type it up, sign off on it, and everything usually gets filed that day. If we're able to resolve all of the issues, then you're going to be able to have a final hearing if one's required or just submit the paperwork. It is possible in mediation that you can reach a final, a full agreement on all issues. Also possible, we may be able to reach an agreement on some of the issues, but not all of the issues. The remaining issues then can go to court and let a judge decide them. That narrows down the issues and costs everybody less money and time and energy. So we settle what we can, leave the stuff that we can't, and let those things go to court also possible that we just cannot reach an agreement at all, in which case the next step is usually to go to court and let the judge make the decision about it. One of the things that I think people get confused about in mediation is as a mediator, I do not spend equal time in both rooms. I'm in the room where I need to be to get the work done and get movement to happen. Sometimes that means 90% of the mediation is in one room and 10% in the other. Sometimes it's 50-50 back and forth. But it is really important to know that you do not have to sign anything at mediation. There is nothing that can happen in mediation that you do not agree with. You as the party are completely in control as to whether or not you agree to the terms and sign off on them that day or not. But once an agreement is reached in mediation and everybody signs off on it, that is 99.9% .9 of the time going to become a court order. So be careful about what you're agreeing to. Here's the thing. As a mediator, I cannot force people to attend mediation or to follow through with mediation. I don't have the power to do it. So this is important because what happens sometimes, unfortunately for me, more often than I would like, is people schedule a mediation, they notice a mediation, and then one of the parties says, mm, I can't make that day anymore, I need to cancel mediation. Well, unless you have an order compelling mediation to take place on that particular day, mediation can't go forward. Now, if there's an order compelling mediation, then I can continue to move forward with the mediation, but I'm just going to have to give you an impasse because the other person didn't show up. That can be helpful if it's one of the judge's requirements, but it's not helpful to actually getting Family the case settled. can take a really, really long time. So I have had mediations that have gone until late at night. I've had mediations that have gone 10, 11, 12 hours. The reality is I don't really like for that to happen because by the time you've been there for that long, you're exhausted, you're not thinking clearly, but sometimes you also just really, really need to get it done and you feel like you're making progress. So things continue. Sometimes what ends up happening is we're able to resolve some of the issues one day and then we have to come back another day for other issues. Sometimes we're there and we get really close, but we can't nail everything out and people don't want to sign a partial agreement. So then we go back for another day. And then sometimes you're there for two or three hours. You bang it out really quickly and you get done. It's really hard to predict. Knowing the specific facts of a case helps a little bit, but you also sometimes get surprised.